Hello all, uh, Vinod here from Endurance Engineering Academy. I hope everyone was safe uh, during this pandemic situation. So, uh, what is this video uh, about? Okay. See, it's very simple and uh, straight forward video. And uh, I hope this is something which most of the aspirant might be, the question which might be there in most of the aspirants. The thing is, what is the major difference between the student who is getting an aspirant who is getting AR1 and an aspirant who is getting AR3000 or 4000? And if you ask me that question to me, okay, then what I'm going to answer, that is what this video is about. So this is something which is from my side, that is from my personal experience and uh, what I feel, that is what I'm sharing with you. It might vary, okay, it depends on person to person, few of the toppers or few of the experienced candidates might uh, answer it in a different way but this is my personal opinion okay so yeah now the first thing is AR1 and AR3000 what is the major difference honestly if you ask me about the knowledge okay or we will consider like this there is a person who is taking AR1 and friend of that person is taking AR3000 and uh, overall if you see both these uh, two aspirants are going to same coaching which means they are learning the same concepts from the same faculty okay maybe they are attending online or offline whatever they are taking same test series okay maybe online or uh, again test series is going to be online whatever may be institute whatever institute may be either they are taking it in from from entrance engineering academy or from any other institute but both of them are taking it from same okay they are practicing same set of questions and they are uh, uh, reading from the same set of books or the materials or the class notes whatever okay and uh, they are doing the revision also correctly okay, which means they are following all the patterns properly periodical revision pattern short notes uh, micro notes indeed formula notes all those things okay they are doing it properly both the students but after the exam one of one student has got AR1 and another student has got AR3000 okay what could be the reason okay between this because if you consider the knowledge, if you see from knowledge perspective, both of them will fall and fall in the same. Uh, what is that? Both of them will be falling in the same uh, category only. Okay? We cannot differentiate much between them. But after getting the results or after writing the exam, obviously after writing the exam itself, both of them will know how they have performed. Okay. Now, what could be the reason? Honestly, the reason cannot be objective. I cannot pinpoint one reason for this. It is basically subjective. Okay, I cannot say that only one reason, only this should be the reason for a person to get three thousand, a person to get AR one. Okay, there can be many reasons associated with that. But the core or the catch which you need to get, like the catch here was, both of them know same. Okay, both of them know same thing. Both of them had put the same effort, the hard work. Uh, whatever the questions they are practicing, everything, etc., etc., everything has been same. But still, one guy is getting a rank of three thousand, and another guy is getting a rank of one. The difference could be that three hours. See, other than this three hours, that is three hours in their exam hall. Okay, other than this three hours, all the other time. Of course, there will be different caliber. AR3000 might be having some different caliber and AR1 might be having some different caliber. Let us assume that even though AR3000 guy is having less caliber, he is working hard to match with that another guy. Let us take A and B, okay? A and B. B is having little bit less caliber than that of A. Let us consider that B has worked more. Okay? He, he even invested more time compared to A. Because I... I I accept that because um, it, it, it is from your basic, from your school, uh, the, cal the caliber uh, is going to be decided from your school, how you are growing, how the knowledge is getting uh, fed into you, okay, how you are, uh, what is that, consuming the knowledge from your school level, that is what is going to decide, obviously, few person might learn a concept in a very short time, maybe, in, maybe a, a, a large concept or a big concept also, they can learn it in a very short time and they can digest it in a very short time few person might take more time for digesting it but still my uh, thing here is uh, this B is also having like he also worked as much as possible to get AR1 he did it everything which he is having a caliber to get AR1 okay but still the difference is coming the reason is 
that three hash what they are doing in the exam okay that is that 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 is an important reason right what they are doing in the three hash okay that is what something which is going to decide your rank but if you ask ar1 or ar3000 they are having same knowledge now the question comes of course ar1 or if you are going to get a rank within 100 or something you are going to have you are going to have a n number of opportunities okay especially uh, psus or old iits etc if you are falling in ar3000 of course you might not get all the opportunities like what these uh, students are going to get and this is something which is which is decided by that three hash only okay that three hash which you are going to write the exam i might give you some reasons for it reasons in the sense why you are not able to be as efficient um, as possible in the three hash there are there are some reasons for it and which is like a very less uh, what is that a very less known or very less cared things by the students the first thing which i feel is health i don't know who <laughs> most of you would have not expected this right see there are few students who used to not sleep before the day before the exam and that is ultimately going to affect that three as even though you did all these things correctly but not sleeping properly which is affecting your health and which is affecting that three hours and that three hours is obviously going to affect your ar1 or ar3 to stuff and uh, regarding health as i said already during the preparation process they won't take food properly which means not a proper food okay unhealthy food or uh, not a proper way of consuming the food okay and uh, they won't sleep properly of course i am accepting that it is an exam you are you are going to be it's a competitive exam you are going to be in a war but at the same time uh, if you have to be more efficient in that three hours then obviously you need to do these things for the complete preparation process okay so taking care of your health is something which many of them are missing because uh, see as of now most of you are in home right that is will be you'll be in you'll be in home mostly so obviously you'll be getting a good food from your parents there is no issues at all right but if you are not in a home okay uh, generally what used to happen uh, uh, when once the corona all those things are settled down generally students used to go okay in bunch and bunch of students used to go to hyderabad or delhi okay somewhere they used to settle there they used to prepare there i am not say i'm not against to that i'm i'm fine if you are comfortable to go to some place and if you are going to prepare from there it's it's fine but the thing is when you are doing that make sure that you are not losing your health okay because that is also something which is going to affect the three hours of your examination which is less cared among students okay now i talk about physical health in addition to that there is mental health also maybe maybe as i said both the person a b has worked properly okay they did everything correctly but maybe person b might be having might be less in his confidence and person a will be will be at a higher level higher end in, in his confidence which is 200 percentage is going to affect i won't say that 100 percentage also i'm just adding another 200 percentage so that is another 100 percentage so 200 percentage it's going to affect your three hours and that three hours is something which is going to decide your rank okay so your confidence level your mindset okay you need to have a mindset that yes i'm going to conquer it i'm going to do it well even though you did all your hard work and if you are not having a proper positive mindset then it's going it's not going to help you in that 3 hours if your body and mind both has to help you in that 3 hours then both has to be healthy your physical body and also your mental your mental body which means you need to be confident you need to be positive first of all you should not have self doubt in yourself see this this will happen actually okay you might think that uh, if i asked to ar 3000 he will say that no sir actually i i was very confident i did everything correctly i was not uh, like uh, i i was fully positive he might say all these things but at least some 
15 to 20 minutes, okay, maybe 15 minutes, he might have lost his confidence or he might have, uh, what is that, uh, deviated, okay, from what he actually wanted to do. So both his mental, I'm, I'm talking about confidence, uh, what is that, uh, positivity, mindset, everything, right? At the same time, as I said about mental health, you need to be very sure you are going to concentrate properly. Okay, you have to concentrate only on the exam. Okay, so which is going to avoid silly mistake and obviously that is that is also very 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 important factor and uh, 99 percentage of the students who are falling in this range they will accept it they are doing silly mistakes and that silly mistake is costing them maybe some 5 marks or 6 marks or maximum 10 marks and that 10 marks is going to cause this difference okay from AR1 to AR3000 and that is not happening because who doesn't know the concept it is happening because you are doing silly mistake and why it is happening the silly mistake could be something related with this too also you might have not had proper sleep the day before or you are you might have not sleeping uh, continuously for few days some seven days or eight days and all those things will pile up and it will start affecting you okay in that three hours of exam and all these things will start affecting affecting you and it will reduce your efficiency ultimately why i'm saying this point and again and again I'm stressing it because the same thing has happened to me I'm saying it from my experience from my personal experience I I didn't sleep properly in the day before okay exactly the day before of the examination I didn't sleep properly and I can I can what is that I can practically feel okay that uh, uh, the number of hours which I slept less okay because of that how much it had affected me I practically felt it during the examination hall that is during that three hours of time i felt it how it affected me and after coming out of the exam hall i started to uh, point out the silly mistake which i did actually in our course also i would have said many silly mistakes right uh, like uh, many silly mistakes i would have pointed out i don't want to point out here and all those silly mistakes many i would have done it okay i would have done it either in test series or i would have done it in the final exam itself okay so those things had happened the reason is I am not able to concentrate fully. If you are not going to have full concentration, um, uh, what is that? If you are not completely cautious in single question, okay, if you are thinking about other questions or if you are thinking about anything else outside of the examination hall, so if you are not mentally stable, then automatically the silly mistake is going to arise. I made a video regarding this, okay, regarding the silly mistake. I will attach that in the description some of the ways by which you can avoid some silly mistakes okay some practical ways which you can follow during your exam time so that you can avoid but it's not going to be uh, it's not going to be complete why i'm saying is that is fine that you can follow it in your exam but you can avoid your silly mistake one and only if, if your body and uh, uh, mind both of them are in control okay you are controlling them if you are controlling them then obviously that is going to reduce your silly mistake okay so yeah so majorly this is there may be few more points i might have forgot to add few more points but uh, i strongly believe these are some things which is going to affect the triage and and already the time okay the video is taking more time than what i expected again so this is what okay this is what i wanted to share with you as this is the starting stage of your preparation most of you would have started your preparation now only try to don't do these mistakes from the beginning try to be positive try to be confident try to have a, a proper positive mindset okay even if you are not able to solve problems even if you are not able to get good marks in the test series even a complete world is against you okay even if complete world is against you uh, it's something like you can feel that everything you might sometimes in your life you might feel that everyone is acting against you even that time also try to have a positive mindset and um, by carrying this mindset by its physical uh, mentally this is and similarly physically also by doing these things at the final exam that three hours you can try to be what is that as efficient as possible okay you can try to be as efficient or as best version of yourself and by doing so what's going to be advantageous instead of this 3000 you might have end, ended up in within 500 or within 400 or 300 something like that so i have a few more points to discuss about the students uh, or aspirants who are getting this rank ar3000 
I will make it in a separate video. Okay, so I don't want to bring it in this video. Just I compared what is the major difference between AR1 and AR3000. The major difference is what you are going to do in that three hours. Okay, what you are going to do in that three hours, that is something which is going to make the difference. All the preparation process might have been fine. But if you are going to, uh, if you are going to damage that three hours, okay, if you are not going to utilize that three hours properly, that is something which is going to affect you. So for, uh, what is that, for using that three hours effectively, I already, I said some of the points which you should follow from the beginning. Okay, these are not the points which you can follow in the last one week or last two weeks. That is why I am making this video at the beginning itself. Okay, so these are not something which you have to follow only in the last week. You need to start following it from the beginning. Okay, so remaining there are there is something which I wanted to talk about AR3000 rank that is students who are falling in that mid range. Okay, so let me talk about that in the next video. Okay, so that's it from uh, that's it for this video. We'll see in the next one.